out for two points and you rotate. Just go, feed the ball and play the point. Whatever. Thank you. 
Nice. When you're in a match, and you all have been before where you get into a cross court, whether it's all backhand or all forehand, I want you to start getting and looking to change the direction of the ball. Put your opponent on the defensive before she does it to you. So what this drill is, we're going to probably feed you, we'll feed you uh, eight to ten balls. We'll feed you, everything's cross court. Back in over here, four in over here. So everything's got to be on this side of me. And over there, everything's got to be on that side of one. I'll feed the ball, and I'll say switch. We'll say switch. That means you've got to change the direction of the ball. It's got to go down the line. ground stroke because we have to get to that but I saw what I saw I like tonight just do the little choppy steps get yourself set drive into the ball remember when you're struggling uh, this year and we struggle I don't say if because we all struggle in matches don't go back to in your mind nothing but a drill I just got to get to the ball and hit I just got to get to the ball and hit you don't worry about placement you don't worry about your opponent get to the ball and hit. Once you get comfortable hitting the ball, then you can start worrying about her, okay? If you worry about her, you're going to be, you, and you're struggling, you're not going to get back on track because you haven't gotten back to the basics is get, just worry about the ball. Plain and simple. The ball's our friend. The net is not. Okay? Another one, Write them down. <laughs> We're here with U.S. women's tennis player Rachel Hussey. You guys are about a week into practice. How's it going? It's going really good. Um, I think everyone's working really hard and we're just really excited for the season to start. So, You're moving up to number one singles this year. Being a sophomore, your, your coach mentioned that's a challenge he thinks that you're looking forward to. Can you kind of talk about how you're preparing to 
you know, kind of carry the team? Mm -hmm. um, I've been working really hard. Um, I make sure I come in extra, get some extra reps, more practice, the better you are. Um, it is a big position to fill, though, especially as a sophomore. And um, I know that typically a lot of people look at their number one player as a leader, so I really try to set a good example for all the girls and just keep pushing and try my best. You guys opened the season against Mankato in a couple of weeks, and obviously your freshman year was in the NAI and the GPAC. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this transition to Division Two, and kind of what excites you about the upcoming season? Um, we're going to see a lot of big hitters. That's going to be um, the big difference, I think, this year. Um, a lot of faster pace balls, um, a lot of girls that will be hitting year-round, and not that in NAI they don't, but um, just a lot of more intense tennis and um, I'm excited. I can't wait to start hitting against these girls um, and I think that mainly the pace um, will be the big difference from Division 2 to and from an AI to Division 2. But You're all conference last year at number two singles. Have you set any personal goals along with team goals? I would really like to just win every match. That's always been my, a goal of mine um, to have a great just season. Um, and I guess that's my first goal. My second goal would probably be to try to get all conference again. Um, but definitely just take it match by match and um, just go from there, trying to win every game. So, Thanks, Rachel. Yeah.